First at five, a man in federal prison for illegally entering the United States is now charged with a violent sexual assault in North Austin. Police charged 34-year-old Jose Carranza Rubio after they say DNA evidence connected him to the assault. And KXAN's Chris Sadegi found out it happened in an area where there have been previous problems. People would hide behind in the fields. Growing up, Larry Johnson remembers the hotel that used to sit behind his house. These different people would live back there. The homeless would live back there, get high, drunk, and all that. Now the hotel is gone, and only these trees and shrubs remain. But neighbors say it's still a problem. People still cut across. And they, still cut, they still cut through the alley. That and apparently more. Police said in May 2015, a man grabbed a woman in front of the gas station at 35 in St. John's, dragged her into this wooded area behind it, and raped her. A homeless person staying nearby helped chase the man away. This unkept property is fenced off and supposed to be off limits, but it's not hard to get inside. Neighbors say that's exactly what people do, and not for good reasons. I think it's a safety hazard. I think it's bad for their business. Larry's talking about businesses on the corner across the field where people looking for work are constantly coming and going. They run up to your car and it kind of startles you because it scares you. You don't never know what they're going to do. Six months after the assault, DNA produced a suspect Border Patrol tells us has been arrested and deported multiple times to Honduras and is currently in federal prison for illegal entry. He will have new charges waiting on his expected release date next month. In North Austin, Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. We look back to May of 2015 and found no public notifications from police about a violent rape in North Austin. We asked them why and were told they were looking into what they did or did not do to inform the public. One possible factor, the weather, the attack happened back on May 25th, the same day huge floods hit Central Texas. Austin police were swamped with emergency calls that day. As Chris mentioned, solving this case hinged on DNA evidence gathered from the victim that matched a suspect in an FBI database. It took six months to get that match. We haven't been able to get specifics yet on what caused the delay in this case, but we have investigated statewide backlogs in testing rape kits. And you can find those reports at KXAN.com, along with news in September that Travis County received a $100,000 federal grant to help speed up testing of that evidence.